Hey Dan Collins, Ben Mack here with Blair Murphy, an artist I'm about to introduce and one of the benefits I've gotten from this homework assignment is finding out all the ways in which YouTube might mess up. <laughs> Blair Murphy is the proprietor of the Grand Midway Hotel and he is he appears to me as a modernist author and that's a term he doesn't apply to himself so I'm going to allow Blair to introduce himself as he sees fit and to explain the canvases on which he has played and how they have evolved in his artistic practice. Blair, thank you. Certainly. Hello there. We want to start with uh, purchase the building. Sure, absolutely. If you would uh, talk to take us through your approach to canvases and how that has evolved. Okay, uh, I'm a filmmaker and a an author, but I wanted to be involved with this other aspect of the arts that I didn't exactly have a model for. Uh, I would look at things like. William Penn creating Philadelphia, the city of Philadelphia, as this social experiment where he was going to apply that all different kinds of people would be for that didn't like each other would be forced to live together, and uh, it would create this new kind of example of living, and that was very inspiring. Things like that were very inspiring to me, and so I the stage one was we wanted a building. I wanted a building somewhere. It didn't matter where it was, and we got we found uh, it didn't matter what city it was in. Uh, or what kind? We were looking at bowling alleys, churches, old old abandoned places, and a 32 room building opened up in Winber, Pennsylvania, and I, it was on eBay for a song. So we were in Los Angeles, uh, myself and a buddy of mine and his wife, and and uh, we relocated here, bought the place, and stage one was completed. Got the building. Stage two, breathing canvas was the phrase that was in the air all the time. We want to create a breathing canvas, and what that meant was something that was constantly changing. Uh, the model that came to mind a little bit with Willie was William Randolph Hearst's castle in California, where he was constantly changing the architecture. It was never to be completed. It was always a thing of constant change. And we wanted to have our building, not that we were recreating the architecture, but the artistic influences were constantly changing. So I've got 32 rooms, and I, and I invite endless artists to come in and take over a room. You can live here for free. and. Uh, just do whatever you want to do to that space. So suddenly this 32 room building is filled with all these different visiting artists and it's a revolving door. So one person's here for a weekend, another person's here for a season and, uh, and uh, there's constant like 24 hours coffee in the kitchen, all this interesting conversation. And when I say artists, I mean authors, published authors to strippers, to chefs, to the guy who does the plumbing, like all of it is respected simultaneously. We achieved that. And I'm very proud of the uh, the the festivals and events that came out of that. That we, we throw these large events where sometimes we have 150 people housed in the building, and they're they're sort of based they're they're sort of modeled after a, a massive potluck where everyone just contributes something to the group experience. You get a week a week long of that, round the clock, artists coming in and out, uh, staying for that week, and um, it, the commodity is it's it's almost. I don't even know how to define it sometimes, or I, I don't really think it translates to people unless you're here, and 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 here doesn't mean like show for show. It means like experience that week of being around that many artists. All no one's getting paid, no one's being charged anything. It's all just one giant communion of offerings. So that stage was was a, was an absolute goal and has been achieved. The next stage, you want me, this is the route you want me to go. The next stage of this social experiment, the what kind of the way it feels. Uh, is to expand what I mean that when people were from the outside were looking at this it had become to a degree uh, not maybe not as famous but but uh, looked at as like Warhol's factory or Ken Kesey's farm or uh, uh, Francis Ford Coppola's Zotrope Studios where several artists were all involved in in an input together and the end result wasn't a entirely about money it was also about manipulating the media it was about manipulating the uh, the the community around you as a canvas in and of itself and so the next phase uh, of our plan was to expand into the town itself so here we go the fir first two or three years we're just the 40 by 80 foot building next it is hello town we're gonna go public we put out the flag and we are going to play a role in the redefining of your community. We're going to add enthusiasm into your community. We're going to offer Shakespeare plays and all kinds of stuff. And um, oh, we did a zombie movie and brought in, like, made an open call to anyone who want to be a zombie in this movie. And suddenly this feature film is flooded with local people that are now fusing with us in our artistic 
channeled experiments. And over and over again, for me, the magic of this is creating mental constructs saying, here, this can, with no money, and, and nothing tangible exact has to be being talked about, we are creating a mental construct that you can pour your enthusiasm into and we will summon something and life will be different. And whether the goal is just to make the park enchanting or to bring uh, more of an academic environment to this coal mining community, whatever, uh, that is the commodity we're playing with. And I don't, I've never called myself a modernist artist, um, but um, uh, if that works, great. I mean, I, I certainly am playing with canvases and the idea of canvases and making uh, the community now. Now, so so next so this next stage, the the community is the canvas, and we're beyond and uh, the just the property itself. And that's happened. It's it's undeniably happened. We're in the paper every month, all the time. We've got politicians coming in here. It's 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 a. Uh, it's expect we're we're gonna be on Sci-Fi uh, in another month. Uh, the Sci-Fi Channel came here and it did a, a whole show on this weird thing going on here, and um, so now that that's expanded, I already feel like we we've, we've undeniably achieved that stage. And the community, like us or not, we are now uh, one of the players that go beyond this community and, and what I mean the internet there, there's nothing you could do any even if you wanted to stop it but we're trying to be positive uh, but with uh, with the internet we the, the, I mean, people are reading about us wherever just like any other web page so uh, this is enlarged and now the next stage is to expand the dominion of the map of what we're doing here and the way I'm going to do this weird artis artistic social experiment um, but ballsy, whatever, I'm going to do it, do the same, um, is I'm buying four small pieces of property in distant locations, which I'm not going to talk too much about the details of them, and I'm having uh, artist friends getting involved to create four matching monuments on these four locations. And we are going to redraw our own map of the dominion in between and set certain uh, new goals of what that means to be within uh, our, our um, I don't know if nation's the word, but you know, something along those lines. And, uh, and then uh, the next stage, which uh, isn't even that far down the road after the, the, the announcement of these properties, which is pretty coming up pretty soon, will be to the experiment of moving these four massive monuments uh, to these farther locations as we expand the map and what does that mean to expand the map and suddenly cross our borders over pre-existing history and adding new ideas of what uh, creating history anyway whether it's accepted by the mainstream or not um, uh, of, of something going on within this space awesome. appreciate it absolutely thank you Dan hope you enjoyed it look forward to the conversation bye for now